Egypt, I had several questions for the Sheikh. And the first one, she says, my parents uh, have passed away. And in order for them to attain some blessings, we sacrifice on the same day every year that they passed away, the same month, uh, we do a sacrifice, Sheikh. Mm. Uh, and you did ask her, her some questions regarding this. Um, is this allowed, Sheikh, she's asking? I asked whether they do that as a mean of commemorating their anniversary. Mm-hmm. And she said, yes. This is a cultural practice and it is totally prohibited in our religion. We should not celebrate the anniversary of the birth or the death of anyone, or otherwise the most worthy one to be celebrated his anniversary was Muhammad ﷺ. And he never prescribed that, nor did he do it to anyone who died during his life, and many of his beloved ones died in his life, his son Ibrahim, his daughters, and uh, but he didn't do any of that. These are mere cultural false practices, and unfortunately many of those who have memorized some parts of the Qur'an, they make a profit out of that. This is totally haram when they sit and they do khatma or they recite some parts of the Qur'an. But guess what? You can do something similar to that which will be permissible, recommended, and you receive a reward and the deceased will be rewarded as well. If you give it charity, you give any charity on their behalf. If you purchase uh, a water fountain and you put it somewhere in the path of people, this is the best mean of giving a charity with the intention of, Oh Allah, give the word of this to my uh, father or to my mother who passed away or any person. That is permissible. You save this money and you perform Umrah or Hajj on their behalf. That is permissible. You distribute money on the poor or buy food and uh, give it to them. That's permissible. But on this occasion, it becomes prohibited. Just like for that clarification.